Hey now, we're back with another relatively easy autograph, and that is Hall of Famer Burp Lylevin. Uh, Burp Lylevin, God, he's been on the signing circuit since I can remember. Uh, he is probably the true definition of a compiler for a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. He had, what, 3, 000, over 3,700 strikeouts. He had, like, 287 wins. A lot of wins, a lot of strikeouts, very long career. I mean, if you just look at the final line totals, to me, he always said, first ballot Hall of Famer. How can someone have that many strikeouts not be a first ballot Hall of Famer? Especially, like, when 3,000 strikeouts was, like, unheard of. Now you have the Kurt Schillings of the world. Well, I think 3,000 is a magic number. You get 3,000 strikeouts. I don't care how many years it took. That is, like, a magic number. More than 500 home runs now. Like, 3,000 strikeouts, 3,000 hits. Either one of those two, I don't care. You get in the Hall of Fame. You should get, like, a free ticket to the Hall of Fame. So, ignoring steroids and all that, 3,000 hits, 3,000 strikeouts, magical numbers put you in the Hall of Fame. I digress. Let's get back to Burp Lie 11. So, as soon as he retired, he was hitting the signing circuits right away. He wasn't a Hall of Famer. So, uh... And his signature, as we'll look right now, it was very consistent throughout his entire career into, right to now. So let's go right into it. So this is my Blur, yeah, Burt Blevin autograph. As you can see right here, I got this at the Gibraltar Trade Center. Actually, I lie. My mom got this for me. I was in college at the time or somewhere. And so his autograph... It looks like he takes a lot of pride in his autograph. And the reason why I say that is the fact that he has every single letter in his autograph signed. You can see right here. And you got to, especially with a, like a living Hall of Famer and fairly modern Hall of Famer, you really do have to appreciate that. So even though there's nothing, there's no like Raz to it or something special, I really do appreciate that. Every burp live an autograph I see, it leans to the right. The B goes a little bit over the lines where it starts so it goes around and over around and over and you should be able to make out every single letter of his name the n looks you could sort of see the v right there very similar to that and if you look at the hall of fame database i pulled up this one this is like the earliest burp i live in autograph i could see and even then he signed a little bit up but you could still see that lean to the right the b goes over where it starts goes over the Y, it looks like it's a little bit abbreviated. But again, it's very consistent. And let's keep going on. This is the typical Burp Apply 11 autograph you're going to see. Again, the N looks like a V, so on and so forth. Again, it's the very same thing. And uh, very consistent, very easy. Now, if you want to get a Burp Apply 11 autograph, the easiest way by far is through his website. You can mail to his home. Or you can order one. He's really into autographs. Very simple. You can get a stat ball. You can get anything you want, as you can see here, through his website. You can even mail your own items to him. His address is right here. It's got a, and he's very good about responding. All you got to do is pay him. But it's not a lot of money. 20 bucks for a card. 30 bucks for an 8 by 10 And like if you want inscriptions, you name it, he'll sign it. He's really taken advantage of the... Hall of Fame system. If you want a ball for yourself, there you go. 75 bucks, boom, it's yours. Not a crazy price for a Hall of Famer, in my opinion, in 2022. So, again, very simple, very easy, uh, very boring. So, we're going to do one more boring autograph, I would call, and that's Wade Boggs coming up. Again, very easy to get, but Wade Boggs is something very cool. I've never seen any other Hall of Famer do, and we'll talk about that next. So, as always, keep collecting.